All right, folks, unboxing time. I got a package from Sweden, from Nils Ögren, who made something really cool for me. And I'm just gonna open it up, show you what it is, and uh, maybe do some testing with it as well. Hopefully I'll have enough daylight left. It's not quite as bad anymore now in March. There we are. There's a sticker here, which you can't see from a distance. And, uh, oh boy, that's a treat. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Oh yeah, I like the handle. Thank you so much, Niels. I really appreciate it. He contacted me and uh, wanted to make me a custom Viking axe. So figured out what shape I want, and this is the, the type that I really like. The uh, Shegurx, or Beard Axe. I like the look of the long drawn out blade, and it's also nice to have that for hooking and such. And the awesome thing is, he actually used iron for the core, and not many people work with iron. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's not as easy to get as mild steel, for example, I've seen that used way more often. And uh, the edge is steel, and you can actually see the difference. Natural light isn't always perfect either. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Okay, maybe this works better. So yeah, you can see that line there. That is really cool. Also nice thickness, you can see the cross section of this axe head isn't overly thick. And that's what you want for a fighting axe. This is not a splitter, nice rounded rectangular cross section for the handle. There's his maker's mark. Sharpness, that edge feels pretty good. Let's see about the thumbnail test. Yep, it doesn't slide off. So that is nice. Oh yeah, it even shaves. Awesome. Shouldn't take long to find something that needs to be pruned or cut down or... I said, this is more of a fighting axe and a single-handed one, so I'm not going to try to chop down a large tree with it or anything. Now, this thing here is not overly large, pretty dead. <laughs> Very dead. And uh, let's see how it goes. All right. Not every Scandinavian who went Viking had a lot of disposable income. In fact, that was the motivation for some of them to go on a raid. So not everybody could get a sword or an expensive fighting axe. Some just had to pick a tool and be, make do with that. But the nice thing about a fighting axe is it's usually lighter because they tend to be thinner and uh, that matters quite a bit in a fight. If I try to nail Bob here and he dodges, which he can't do, he, he's getting a bit old. But instead, I'm just going to deliberately miss. So let's just assume he just dodged that. And I can come back around pretty quickly because this is not a really heavy tool that, that drags me around. So it's not a fatal mistake for me to miss. I can always come back and recover fairly quickly. And of course, with an axe, you can use the entire shaft and uh, choke up and punch with it if need be, or, you know, grapple, you know, do 
whatever you need to. And if they move in while you strike and you only hit with a handle, you've got quite a bit of blade sticking out there. So this would be unpleasant to say the least. And of course, if your shield gets destroyed or lost, even with a small ax, you can use it with two hands and be a lot quicker that way. And if there's an obnoxious loudmouth on your ship or in your camp that you need to deal with without injuring him seriously, you can still teach him a lesson. So if you haven't noticed, I like axes. Thanks again, Niels. Really appreciate it. I'll leave the link to his website down below. So if you're interested, you can get in contact with him and maybe buy something cool. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, folks.